Welcome to Spirited Spirits, I'm your host, Phidias Farley, and I was the bartender for the royal family for many, many a year. Not the royal family you may be thinking of, but Queen Victoria's family in the 1800s. I held this position until 1863 when I died of consumption, as many well did. You may think consumption is eating a chicken McNugget at McDonald's or a Big Mac or a Whopper or whatever nasty food you eat now. The consumption then was another nicer name. A tuberculosis. Not a nice way to die. <laughs> but still, even after 1863, I kept up on the latest trends in cocktails, and today's cocktail is the Tom Collins. Tom Collins is basically a gin lemonade with fizz. A very classic cocktail, and I will teach you how to make. The history of the Tom Collins. Though a very popular drink, the exact origins is unknown. The modern recipe is by Jerry Thomas in 1876 in his Bartender's Guide. It was a variation of the John Collins of British drink that had dry gin. Replace the dry gin with Old Tom Sweetened Gin and John becomes Tom. Also popular in England before the Tom Collins was the gin punch with no bubbles added. And also with the gin fizz with no sugar added. Now, before I fix it, one more thing. was the great Tom Collins Hook of 1874. Now this happened in mainly in New York and Philadelphia, but it was a practical joke that was going wild across the cities. First one person would say to the other, Oh, that Tom Collins, he's saying lots of bad things about you. So the other person says, Tom Collins, I don't know him. I must find him and beat him to a pulp. And then the jokester would say, oh, he's over in that bar. You can find him there. So the man being played tricks on goes, oh, up to the bar. Where is Tom Collins? And lo and behold, the bartender hands him a drink. It's says, there he is. <laughs> now for the ingredients for a perfect Tom Collins. A highball glass full of ice. Two ounces of the finest gin. One ounce of simple syrup. The juice of half a lemon. A splash of club soda. A garnish, a cherry, and a lemon wedge. And finally, a straw to stir and enjoy your cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I want to go back to the great hoax of 1874. This hoax was so popular that many a songwriters wrote songs of Tom Collins and the great hoax. Many, many songs sung on vaudeville and Broadway. And I have learned one for you today. To take us out of the show, let me sing it for you. Tom Collins wants to see you. He says you're a deadbeat. Tom Collins, you must know him. Your daughter he did meet. He took her to the motel that charges by the hour. And dumped her in the ballroom, she's newly deflowered. Those aren't the lyrics. Tom Collins, I don't know him. His face I'd like to pound. I'll rip out all his entrails, they'll spill out on the ground. I'll tear his heart to pieces, they'll say I am insane. 
And if I was a zombie, I would eat out all his brains. Can you please sing what's written? Tom Collins wants to see you. He'll raise to you this glass. Tom Collins says you'll drop trial and take it up. We told you those aren't the lyrics. But those 1800 lyrics are so boring. <laughs>